Hi all, in this lecture I'll tell you how to do data setup on Google Cloud Platform. So we have four steps. Step one is to create a bucket in GCP, then uploading the data set files to the bucket, then mounting the bucket as a file system and finally put the files to HDFS. So we will be looking into each and every step one by one. So let's open the Google Cloud Console. From the left navigation menu, we have to find the storage option. So let's find it. It's always good to pin the storage to the top. Now open the storage. On this page, we will get an option to create a new bucket. So let's create a new bucket now. Okay, so we have to provide the bucket name. So I'm gonna say cc-175 hyphen practice hyphen bucket and I'll be leaving all other properties as it is, all other configurations as it is, and just click on the create button. This will create a bucket. After creating a bucket, we will be uploading the files to the bucket. So I have got a folder on my machine, I'll be uploading that using upload folder. Okay. So this is the folder on my machine, just click on upload. This operation may take few minutes to complete, depending upon the size of data. So it is done. So guys, we have completed two steps. We have created a bucket and we have uploaded data, data files into the bucket as well. Let us see how to mount the bucket as a file system. So we have to follow some steps here. First of all, we have to install GCS Fuse. So in the cloud console, go to the virtual machine instances page and open the SSH console of the virtual machine that we created earlier. After opening the SSH console, we have to execute few commands to install GCS Fuse. I have already documented the commands and the same is available in the course itself. So you have to download the document and you just have to copy and paste the commands in SSH console. These commands will install GCS Fuse. Now, second step, we have to execute the below command in SSH console. We have to create a directory. After creating a directory, we will mount our bucket to the directory. Third step, after doing that, we will put the entire data to HDFS using HDFS DFS hyphen put command. So let's see all this in the lab itself. So guys, this is the bucket that we have created. Just go back and we can see the bucket details. Now this is my bucket that we have created. You can copy the name. Okay. Now go to the navigation menu and go back to data proc clusters because we have to open SSH consoles. Click on the cluster name. Now, go to virtual machine instances tab. Now, here you can see SSH. Click on SSH. This will open a new SSH console. Okay, so this is our SSH console. Now, we will be executing all the steps one by one here. So first of all, we will be installing GCS Fuse. So what exactly you have to done? You have to copy and paste the commands here. So after installation of GCS Fuse, as we can see, it is done. We have to create a directory. And after creating a directory, we have to mount the bucket to this directory. Again, it's just a copy and paste of commands. So as we can see, that file system has been successfully mounted. Now, we can see all the files here whatever files we uploaded to the bucket. So just go to retail DB data set and we will be able to see a retail DB directory here. Now if you go inside the retail DB directory, we should be able to see all the data, all the practice data as you can see here. So guys, we have successfully mounted the bucket as a file system. Final step will be uploading the entire data to HDFS. So let us first of all see what there is in HDFS. 
okay so this is the directory these are the directories that are present in hdfs and we will be uploading our data set to user spark directory and the command that we will be using is hdfs dfs hyphen put okay so first of all let's create a directory data set in hdfs under the directory slash user slash spark after creating this new directory we will be uploading entire retail db directory and the data to this hdfs directory and the command is hdfs dfs hyphen put is the command okay using this command we will be uploading the entire retail db data set to hdfs after doing that we will also be validating the same okay the command has run successfully let's validate so let's copy the data hdfs location and now we have to execute a command hdfs dfs hyphen ls and provide the path we should be able to see all the files here now we can see a folder retail db which is created just now and then under retail db we should be able to see all the sub directories related to our practice data so guys we have successfully set up the data on gcp thank you